welcome to another budget and leg video. We've got something completely different today. We've got two whole bar mixers, dough mixers or mixers anyway. And apparently one of them's working, one of them's not. We have to get one working out of two. This one, you can hear the motor spins but nothing spinning. So I have to transfer the gears, I think, from the blue one to this one. But I'm not 100% sure. Someone's already had a go here and I don't know what they've done or what they haven't done. So we're going to crack open the tops which they're already loose. And in this one, which I'll get you close to in a minute, someone's already had a go at this. Um, there's all bolts been taken out and all sorts, so I'm not 100% sure what to do. We're going to work on one first. I need to lift this out, I think to get to kind of the gubbins. Hopefully this plate comes off. I don't, have to, I don't know if I have to drop it from down below or, or not, I'm not sure. But we can get closer into this one and then we'll see what we have to do. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of bits missing. I'm guessing there should be a few bolts down here. We've got a cap missing here. These bolts are loose. So, I'm not 100% sure how to strip this. So I'm just kind of guessing. Right, so it looks like we're going to have to undo these three bolts, or maybe even this one as well, to lift this part off. Or do we just lift this part off and these bolts hold down the gears that are on there? I don't know. I'll try and lift this off first, maybe, before. I'm going to have to undo this bolt here, though, I think. I'm going to have to undo this. This bolt looks like it's tied in, so I'm going to undo that bolt first. Ten. Uh, maybe 11. 10, 11. Seems really hard on this side. Yeah, it's probably on that. I'd say they're gonna have to come off, aren't they? See it on that. Delve. That looks to be moving. Yeah. It's not moving here though. Right, we'll whip off these three bolts, and then we'll turn the camera back on. Right, so I've just undoing them three bolts, and this has decided. So come apart, which is good because now a dog can see the rabbit. Lovely. Now we've got to figure out what is going on here. And I can see straight away the problem. This gear here, which is, looks to be the hardest one to get to, there's a little worm inside here which the motor spins which then connects to another gear which is this one which then spins them all and I can see from this gear it's broke the teeth are missing but how to get it out is another thing hmm there's only one gear that's the main gear it's yeah but you won't have to take them all out then. Well, I'm going to have to take this and that one because it's under this one. Yeah. But the problem is... Right, as you can see... Like, I'm just guessing, so I, I honestly don't know... how to do this, but... Right, and again, that's on a... Kiwi. Yeah. So, that comes off first, when it looks like that. I'm going to go on one way. Right, 
Right, we've got a little locating dowel on the plate here, and this gear comes off, which will hopefully then allow this to come off. Yeah. And now we're getting to the crux of it. This could be quite an easy fix. I don't know if the camera's showing that. We've got what I can only describe as drive gears, I'm guessing. So this was one that one of the bolts was holding on. That's like a secondary gear, I'm guessing. And we have the main drive gear here. But again, this is just a guess. Could be wrong with the names, but this is the one that's broke. Get that out. But, ah, is it broke? Yeah. Yeah, this one is absolutely baggered. But what we need to do, we need to get it out and also clean it because obviously all the bits are left inside it, which we don't want for obvious reasons. But this is our problem. This, I'm guessing, is a drive gear. And how it comes out is another problem. It doesn't seem to just sit like the others. I can see a main bolt going all the way underneath for this middle gear, but I can't see anything underneath for this fella. So it's either, it should pop out, but it doesn't, or there's a special way of getting it out. But because it's foot, I think we can just... Fook it some more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I see a little pin here. I don't know if maybe this shaft stays in there and these gears slide off through this little locking pin. So maybe the shaft has to stay there but we can just replace the gear. But like I said, I don't know. I don't know if the camera is showing that little pin there. And that looks like a locking pin. Just before I try that, let me just see if this will lift up. Now I'm going to quickly clean this up and show you what was wrong. As we can see that doesn't look too bad there. As we turn it around half the gears here have just completely gone. But where had they gone? And that looks like a, just sits into a bearing the housing down there. But what we, the problem we've got is where are them chunks of gears gone for a start and I think that's just a problem but I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to have to clean this out, strip the other one, put the gear in and test it. I'm not going to show you me clean it out because that's just going to be boring. But I'm going to clean this out with something. I don't know what yet. And once I've done that we'll turn the camera back on. Now we have a slight problem. Once I was cleaning this, we stripped the other one and the other one had exactly the same problem with the gear. And as you can see, now I've kind of got it clean, you can see, now this is not a metal gear. This is obviously some sort of kind of sacrifice gear and I'm guessing it's for something to do, maybe if your hand gets caught or something, the gear breaks before obviously you rip your hand off. That's what I'm kind of guessing but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so this is kind of some sort of special plastic gear which is broken on both of them so we can't fix it until he gets a new gear. So I've just more or less kind of put it back together. I've left this part out. I've cleaned it as best I can. Um, I'm just going to have to wait for the parts. It'll only be a few seconds for you. It could be a couple of weeks for me. So yeah, once I get the new part in, this video will be finished. Now, only been a few seconds for you. It's been over two weeks for me. We now have this kind of sacrifice worm gear. And as you can see, it's kind of, well, it's hard to know exactly what it's made of some sort of wood slash plastic something anyway it's designed to do what it's done so obviously it doesn't do you any damage so we now got to replace it now you can unfortunately put it either way and I'm guessing we have to get it the right way because 
otherwise well actually to be fair it makes no difference I'm just looking at the gears here spinning it around in my hand and the gears are always facing the right way so so there isn't a wrong or right way to put it you can just kind of put it any way you want so what we need to do first is we need to take off this gear and I'm hoping it's just a case of pulling out or punching out this pin we'll bang it in the vise and now see if this pin comes out get a little punch and it does nice and easy now obviously this has been had grease and all sorts of stuff around it so nothing should be nothing should be um, seized or anything like that but I've just noticed that that's kind of sprung up a little bit which I wasn't expecting so there's some pressure on there must be from the spring below I didn't think it would be doing that but it obviously is not to worry see if we can get this out This now come off. That now comes off. That's the spring. So we're going to have to tension that spring back to put this on. As you can see there's the hole and this will now move up and down. We need to take off this gear in the Phillips screwdriver. Hopefully these come off. Easy. screwdriver is too thick. This screwdriver has a finer tip and yes it goes in. Ah, oh, thank God for that. This screwdriver has got a finer tip and it goes in and yep. Oh, the first one wasn't hard. Now if this has been outside something like a car or something, there's a chance that these are going to be a lot tighter because water and all sorts of crap would have got in there. But because this is basically being submerged in grease all its life nothing can really get to it that shouldn't get to it yeah off it comes now in this one it's only got the recesses on one side and it's flat on that side where this one has recesses on both sides but like I said the most important thing is getting the gears to go the right way and no matter which way you put it up it makes no difference for the gear so I'm going to put it back this way if I say that it doesn't look like it wants to go down there make sure we line up the holes at the same time because otherwise we're going to have problems there as well more or less line up very slowly go down making sure we're lined up Just the weight of the hammer, I'm not hitting this hard by any stretch. We've got to be lined up. for the socket now. See if I can put the screws in a little bit. Now I'm only putting these in lightly, I'm not going to push this it down with these, I just want to make sure I've got it lined up. These are going in nice and easy, so I know I've got it lined up which is a good thing. Now 
now. This will work for me to keep screwing down them when they get too high, but at least it's still going down. A couple more milk. This should be it now. Yep. We are fully down. Sorted. Now, I have to kind of compress this spring somehow. So this lines up. Well, the best way I thought of doing it is using my press. I've got it, might as well use it. I think it's gonna work. I can't see why it won't. Only problem is, hopefully the socket is deep enough for the middle part to go through it. Before we press it, I'm going to have to make sure I've got this lined up over it. It's not going to move once it's being pressed. And I think this should work. We'll soon find out. It's working. There's a hole. Perfect. Lovely jablay. Actually, there's, there's a bit more pressure on that than you think. There we go. Sorted. Right, so ready to put this back. I've got as much grease and everything out of it as I could. You're not going to get it completely clean, but we've got all the crap out, so we should be good as regards that. Let's remove this pin, or this gear. Remove this one. And then this one should go straight back in, hopefully. Should be able to go on there, which it does. Make sure it's in. You can actually, should be able to check, I should be able to spin this by hand on our, of course, can't spin the motor. What I might do is I might plug it in just to make sure that's going to, well then no it won't, will it? No, I better not do that just in case it slips and breaks the gear. I was going to turn it on just to make sure that spins, but if this pops up or slips or does anything, we can break that gear and then I'll be back to square one again. So, I need to try and get this one in. Does that have to go in? This one's going to have to come back out, I think. Let's kind of put these down together. Now. Hopefully I'm not 
getting in the way too much. Easy getting all these gears to line up to go in. It's going to take some wiggling to get these in, and uh, I think I might just turn the camera back on once I've got them in. They're more or less in place. I just kind of need to wiggle them to make sure the gears line up and uh, stuff like that. So I'll turn the camera back on once I've got these two in place. So put the top gears on now. Bringing back up at the minute. But not to worry. Now, before this top gear goes on, you have to make sure this little keyway is flat because otherwise it won't go on properly and the little washer at the top won't go on properly either. Now, again, this can take a bit of wiggling. Trying to get this on. Now, as you can see, that's nice and flat, which will allow this plate to go on. The little nipple sticking out goes in there, little dowel, and that will allow that plate to sit flat, which is important. Right, that should be all the gears in place, and technically, depending on what speed you're using. This should work, but what I need to do is start this top gear, this little gear should be on. So let's see if I can put that on with that in place. Hopefully I can. Line these up so straight, else they don't go in. Ah. So, everything looks good. I just want to turn it on before I actually kind of grease it up properly, just to be 100% sure. But that does mean putting all these back to make sure. should work. What I should be able to do is actually put this down properly and I should be able to feed the grease in these two big holes. So there's no reason why I need to go down to the So 15mm or 250mm for the littler gears and a 21mm for the bigger one in the middle. And I've just seen something that I forgot to put on. Look at 
Okay, I spotted that. Little washer here, which should be on. Yeah, that little washer has to go on there. Now, theoretically, I should be able to switch this on. That's number one. Let's go back a bit. We have gear two or speed two, speed one, and speed three. So this should work. some because obviously with no grease but it is going to all the gears yeah I've got it now I'm leaving gear one first let's see what happens plugged in now this could pop well not pop but break that gear I honestly don't know I mean I can turn it by hand. So, here it goes. Nope, something wasn't right there. Turn the camera back on once I've got it off and see why the whole thing wasn't spinning. Right, I can't see anything wrong with it. I took out all the gears again and I turned the motor on and it spun that gear that we put in. But I can't see anything wrong, anything out of place, anything else broken. Everything looks like it should do. So what I was thinking of, maybe I tightened the top bolts too much. Maybe there's some kind of, or well, there's some sort of setting or something that I'm not aware of. That's the only thing I can think. But again, I still could be wrong with that. So what I'm gonna do is in the middle there, you know what happened because I stripped it and everything looked fine so I think I may be over tightened these bolts on the top because when I turn it on now I don't know if you can see this but it does what it's supposed to do so I think it's fixed what I'm going to do now is add grease into this when it's basically on now do not stick your fingers in these holes This is actually taking the grease and it's going to put it wherever it needs it. So, there's no point in really showing you this because this is just going to be boring. But. It was juddering a little bit and we thought it might be because it wasn't greased and it is now as you can see not juddering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep packing in grease and this. I can even see new grease on this gear on this side so it's definitely going in which is good. And uh, put the caps back on. There's a couple of caps I've got to put on over here and just a couple more bolts. Once I've got the grease in I'll turn the camera back on and we'll do the rest. Now we had more problems. Um, 
halfway through putting the grease the thing just stopped and on the two wheels the one we replaced these are the like a bearing cap and this stops the bearing falling out of the other side and this cap fell off and the gear kicked to the side which stopped it so we've had to completely dismantle the front part take off this big ring to push that back on hopefully that's now done so i'm just going to grease this up and then hopefully put this back together and this should now have stopped doing what it was doing and hopefully work but i said that a few times now on this so we have a massive key right here Now, keyway is lined up. Now, put this on the top. Keyway. Now, that goes down. We have a washer. That's my 21 mil span. Okay? 21 mil span. So that's 21 mil. This down. Locked into place. This is just a little cover to make things look nice. So just need to now, hopefully, this is now sorted. Gears feel fine. No, still not working. After all that. This is turning into an absolute nightmare. I had to strip it all again and we found that there's a broken keyway in here. Now, I don't know if it happened when this originally got damaged or what. It was working but once the new grease got into it then it started slipping. I've replaced the keyway so this should now work but it means putting everything back together again for the 50 millionth time which is just a nightmare but anyway if we've got it sorted that's all that matters. Let's kind of put these back into place. That one in. What I do is once I've got all this back together, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. Right, let's see if this now works. I don't think it makes a difference how tight they are. That was just I kind of what I was maybe thinking. But anyway, I've got it all back together, I've got that keyway in. Fingers crossed, this better work because I can't be asked to strip this again. Hey! Sort it! There we go! Now that's it. All I gotta do, well, I'm gonna put all the covers back on, all the bolts. It's really only. These covers that go along here, another cover goes on there, I'm going to put a bit more grease on, a few bolts and that's it, there's no point in filming it, it's just, just a couple of bolts. And that's essentially it. So this is now done.
So that's how to repair a Hobart mixer. Sorted. So look, hope you liked the video. Please like, share and subscribe and all that. Don't forget, check out our forum, sign up to that and see you for the next one. Don't forget, get your hands dirty.